हाय गाइस वेलकम टू टेक्नोलॉजी एक अर्जेंट कॉल से मैं बाहर जाने वाला था बाहर डोर डोर का लैच बोलना ही एक ब्लॉक करने ही बोल दिया अरे आईओटी आईओटी से क्या कर सकता है तो खुद मोबाइल से किधर भी That's what the problem. Like it don't know. It is trending technology. Lot of people don't know about it. So what today we'll do is just we'll make one model only. Just we'll create one small activity that is IoT based door lock system. So shall we go for that? Let's yeah. Let's come. Let me show you the how it can be done. As we seen that one of my friend felt a problem of door locking. So what today I'll be doing is I'll just showing you that how we can make that particular project. So the requirement of my first component is breadboard which I required to make the connection, and then I have that is node MCU. This is a controller which we can see we mostly use for IoT this because it has inbuilt Wi-Fi module. So just we use this controller that is called as a node MCU. You can purchase it from Amazon or you can get it any electronic shop. I just making one link for this particular. You can just go in my description. You will be getting the link where you can just directly go and buy the product. So next up we have that is servo motor. This is what the servo motor we are going to use. I am I am making a small project, so I am just using this particular servo motor. But if you are making while making the actual model, you can use it of high torque motor. That it will come in various ranges like 20 kg torque, uh, 30 kg, 35 kg, or 3 kg. Like that, there will be a variation in servo motor also. So, but the basic function of servo motor is same of any. It is just the torque is different. So let me go with the connection. So first of all, what I'll be doing is on the breadboard, I will be mounting this uh, uh, node MCU. So I just uh, make this node MCU here. And what I require is a single stand wire. So this what the single stand wire I'll be using. So this uh, three single three single stand wire I'll be taking because I have the three connections for this particular servo motor. Then we'll be going it uh, for the connection. See first of all, what we'll be doing is here you can see. That there is a 3V3. You can see a 3V3 the connection. That pin we use to connect here in the breadboard. This is the VCC. That is the ground. Uh, sorry, it's a uh, VCC is a 5 volt, or you can say it as a 3 volt because from 3 volt the voltage is going to come. And the orange color that is been fixed for this servo motor. That is orange is for input. That we say red is for VCC and brown is for ground. So what I can do is the pin I can just press it in this female terminal it is so it just I can make the connection. So what I have to do is no 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 what I used to do is the orange color pin is input right. So I just have to uh, put it in red color that is uh, VCC what I am going to give the signal and then I have that is ground connection. So ground what I will be doing is next we have ground that is brown color. That I'll be pressing in the brown color terminal. That is done. So two wires I have connected now to give for input. So what I'll be doing for input here, you can see there are eight digital pins. So you can see here there are various uh, digital pins. D zero, D one, D two, D three, D four, D five. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using D eight one. What I'll be using D eight one. See here D eight one pin. I'll be connecting that. And then that pin I'll be giving to input pin that is orange color. I'm just 
that you have to uh, make the connection and after doing the connection you will be uh, soldering it or else uh, you can uh, put the glue on this that will be fixed where it will not move the connection will not get in loose so this how this is only basic connection what we did uh, but we required a lap right to make this operator we cannot just uh, make the servo motor so let us bring one of the lap so how i can just make it so let's go so this is our latch what i have prepared that is a small circuit and i just uh, written a name also that is iot based door lock system what i have done is that whatever the connection is same actually what i have done on the breadboard here i have the breadboard and my wooden screw and then this is what the servo motor i have connected with the spring that is latch with the latch so what i'll be doing is let us see the work working now we have seen that basic connection there is no much difficulty to do this it is a very simple task you can do it easily by using only two devices so what else we require with the latch we require a power bank and a cable where we have to give power supply to our node mcu right so just we required a power supply what i'll be doing is i'll just connect uh, the power bank and i just uh, make the connection to this i'll give a power supply to my node mcu where i can operate it so you can see that uh, the latch is been actually like it is uh, seen that the connect so what i have to do is uh, again i have to make open my device as you have seen that the connection of everything and the door locking let me tell you that how it can be done right now i have just uh, mounted here one servo and here i have a controller in my hand that is my mobile device if i am staying out of my home and i just want to lock my door then i can just make one few steps that is just one slider i have to slide it out then it will lock and it will just open it up now the device is open see it has been offed and then let me lock it out so what happen usually is it depend on uh, network as you can do the locking by using your mobile device so here i have uh, just uh, take to one slider that i have connected to the 8 pin number so my servo motor is there so just uh, i have to slide it out and it will lock my door and I, if i want to open i can just open but sometime what happen i just don't want to take much effort to make the slider move forward and reverse i just want to on so i can just on it and off it two buttons i have placed here and one more here button and this one is forward and this and if we just make it it will lock it will move like that we can use to make the locking system of my door by sitting in any corner of the door so this how there was a basic connection and the circuit working just you have to slide it out it will lock the door and then you have to again slide it out it will unlock the door so just try it once yes so mera pareshan bahut dur karta hai yeah wow nice right <coughs> thank you ajay bro yeah i worry why don't worry if you have any problem you come to me let's solve it up and next uh, sabhi tere paas hi karunga yeah sure bro. thank you thank you